A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim, bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidah Mursaleen, amma ba'ad. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu, Muslims, Ramadan Mubarak. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, lovely, blessed day on this first day of fasting, you know what I'm saying? I don't really, I don't use this 10 minute uh, option very often, but... I, I, I got some things I want to say. If you don't mind, go on a walk with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm taking a walk down the street right now. And um, if, if you're patient enough to rock with me, you know what I'm saying? I want to get off, I want to get some things off my chest. You know what I mean? Yo, some of the comments that, you know what I'm saying, brothers with names like Ahmed, Taha, Hamza, Muhammad, like those are beautiful names. And I love those people. In fact, you know, my sons are named after those. They, my son, I have my, one of my sons is named Muhammad Hussein. My other son is Hamza Ali. You know, I've named, you know, my children these beautiful names so that inshallah, they don't never have to go through the fitna that I, as a Gregory, have to go through. You know what I'm saying? Now, mind you, I, you know, I changed my name to Ali. You know what I'm saying? That's what the, the Muslims call me and all that. But for for so many reasons, it's just not practical for me to change my name legally yet. You know what I'm saying? But if I wasn't already so in love with Islam, if I didn't do my own research and, like, I was only judging Islam on, like, the way that Muslims have treated me, you know, it would discourage me. So it makes me wonder if, like, there is a certain evil that exists within the community of believers. You know, I know that during the time of the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him and his family, there was a core demographic of people called the Munafikin, or the hypocrites. And if those people existed at the time of the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, then they have to exist now. You know what I mean? And they they look like Muslims. They sound like Muslims. They dress like whatever way that Muslims might dress, you know what I'm saying? But they don't act like Muslims. They say very hurtful things and, and they're in love with their pride, you know what I'm saying? I feel like there's this level of uh, tribalism that still exists, you know what I'm saying? And it's it's been it's been a very hurtful experience to put myself on a platform that opens me up to such criticism. You know what I'm saying? It's bad enough that, you know what I'm saying, I got to deal with the people that are constantly trying to convert me to Christianity. It's bad enough that I got to deal with the fact that I'm all by myself in this town that I'm at. You know what I'm saying? Look at this place. I'm literally in Hillbilly, USA. You know what I'm saying? And as far as I know, I'm the only Muslim anywhere near me. So you guys are my community. You guys are my Jamaat. You guys are all I got. You know what I'm saying? And if you've cared enough to watch it so far... I know that you're not one of those people that have been hurtful. If you've made it this far with me, you know what I'm saying? You probably got a lot of love for me, you know what I'm saying? And and I got a lot of love for you too. I'm super grateful for you, you know what I'm saying? And I just I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if he doesn't allow us to meet in this life, then I pray that he resurrects us on that day. That day of standing, that day of judgment, and afterwards, inshallah, we go to Jannah together. And I pray that he puts me in your company. You know, I love Islam. And I love Muslims. You know, I'm doing my best. I make all my prayers, mashallah. I started out my fast with the proper intention and, and I'm, I'm, alhamdulillah, I'm, I'm going strong. I'm, I'm, me I'm memorizing surahs, you know what I'm saying? I understand that my pronunciation, it might be difficult, you know, but this is, I wanted to say something about that too. 
While I was studying Islam, I learned that there was there's four different tajweeds. There's different there's four different ways to recite. You see what I'm saying? The Kufic, the Medani, you know what I'm saying? And there's some other ones, you know, Allah knows best, but you know and I'm sorry if it's offensive to anybody. I don't ever mean any offense, you know what I'm saying? I take a little bit of like I'm not not pride in a sinful way, but I am. I you know, I work hard so that I can memorize these these verses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that I could say them in my prayers and I I feel like I'm seeking nearness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and somebody showed me the hadith earlier that said that if somebody recites the Quran and it's a struggle for them, then they get double the reward. You know, I guess this walk that we're going on, you know what I'm saying, is really just me asking you guys to continue to be patient with me. Because I love you guys. And I'm your brother. I'm not perfect, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a month and a half ago, I was locking in at 945. A month and a half ago, I was doing mandatory burpees. I've been through a lot of pain. I've been through a lot of hardship, man. You know what I'm saying? Some of the pain that I've been through has been self-induced. But, you know, I've had an ice pick stuck in me. I've been beat unconscious. You know, I've been shot at. I've done a lot of vulgar things. I've, you know what I'm saying? And I've been involved in a lot of situations that I'm not proud of. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he, he protected me. And he brought me out of those situations and he allowed for me to be a Muslim. You know, and I, I feel like if some of y'all had y'all way about it, like that wouldn't be the case. Like it makes me wonder if 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 the love of Islam is, is a real thing or if it's just something that we read about in books. You know what I'm saying? If it's like some kind of fairy tale that only existed during the time of the Sahabas and all of that, you know what I'm saying? But even then, you know, I read some of the history of Islam and Tabari and all that, and I've seen what happened to the Prophet's grandchildren, peace and blessings of Allah be upon them, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, so I guess I really can't expect anything more when the people that said, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad the Rasulullah, you know, they oppressed and they did harmful things to, to even the very children of the Prophet. You know what I'm saying? So, Islam. But I'm not in no way, shape, or form comparing myself to their struggle. I'm just wondering if there's anything that I can do, you know what I'm saying, to maybe make y'all a little bit more happy with me. Is there anything that I could do to make myself a little bit more acceptable, you know what I'm saying? Like, somebody sent me the thobe, so I rocked the thobe, you know what I mean? I rocked the kufi, you know what I'm saying? I can't do nothing about the tattoos, man. I ain't got the money for it, and even if I did, it would cause more harm than that, you know what I'm saying? You know, I openly bear witness that there's no God worthy of worship but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's nothing worthy of worship but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I send salawat on Muhammad in his household. You know, I make my salah. I'm a believer, man. And, you know, I wish that that was enough. You know what I'm saying? You know, I mentioned about Bilal al-Habashi, radiallahu anhu, how his pronunciation used to drive some of the Sahabas crazy. You know what I mean? Like, they would complain about him calling the Adhan because, you know, he was from Abyssinia. And his pronunciation was off. And you know what I'm saying? I, you know, not, not that I'm anywhere near his greatness, but I guess I understood what he must have endured because, you know, you guys, some of you guys have been very hurtful about my pronunciation, man. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. I guess, you know, I just wanted to take you guys on this walk with me so you guys can see where I'm at. So you guys can see with your own eyes that it's just me out here. I'm all by myself. You know what I'm saying? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all I got. And that's really all I need. Hasbuna Allah. Sufficient is Allah. I love you guys. I hope that you guys have a successful fast. 
I hope that you guys remember me in your dua. I love you guys so much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.